I'm David Ellison. I'm running for State Senate. I'm located here in Greeleyville, South Carolina. And I wanted to take a minute to walk down Main Street in Greeleyville and just kind of give you an idea of what's happening in District 32, Senate District 32. As you can tell by this uh, building back here, it's pretty dilapidated. Greeleyville, unfortunately, has turned into a ghost town. It used to be a thriving business. It used to have, we used to have close to 40,000 people in Williamsburg County. Now it's down to around 30, so think about that. Lost about 25% of its population in the last uh, se several years or more. We've lost industry. We've lost Colonial. We've lost Baxter. We've lost uh, um, a tire company. We've lost textile companies. We've lost, we've lost technology companies. And why? When I talk to these business leaders, what do they tell me? There's a common theme. One word, education. Educate. Look at this building. Totally boarded up, totally closed, um, totally dilapidated. But education is the problem. Okay, it's not just that we can't find qualified workers, and we can solve that with tech schools, with trade schools. That's not the big problem. The problem is nobody wants to move here. Nobody wants to move into Williamsburg County, even though there's lovely people here, there's lovely weather, a lot of natural resources. Here's another one that's boarded up. Here's another, here's another business that's closed. When you talk to CEO and business leaders, it's the common theme is we cannot move families and workers into Williamsburg and parts of Georgetown County and Berkeley and Horry and even Florence County because where are they going to send their kids to school? Where are they going to send their kids to school when I'm going to let this truck pass? Do another boarded up area. People in Williamsburg County School District are not reading on grade level. Think about this statistic, it's very sad. 52% of the males that start ninth grade, 52% of those precious males made in the image of God do not even graduate. My question to Ronnie Saab, my opponent, is what are you doing for those males that don't graduate? Why aren't you giving a single mother an, an opportunity scholarship, an educational freedom scholarship? a GI Bill for kids to let that mother decide to pull her son out of a failing school that's been that way for 50 plus years and let her send her child to a private school, a church school, a home school, a charter school, a magnet school, a tutoring program. And the reason why Ronnie Saab doesn't want, here's another business that's totally closed. The reason why Ronnie Saab doesn't want to do that is one reason. He is in the hip pocket, he is in the pocketbook of the education industrial complex in South Carolina, okay? Uh, his wife works for, is a principal for one of the local schools, and that's great for her. But my point is, why do we want to continue to throw good money at a bad process, okay? We have a lot of great teachers, okay? I dare say we have a lot of great principals. But let's make those principals and teachers compete. That's the word for the day, they need to compete they need to compete for the kids in their program. Okay, competition is not a four-letter word. Competition is what made America great. We compete on the world stage. We compete. States compete against each other. Businesses compete. Restaurants compete. Sports teams compete. Guess what? Schools need to compete. Greeleyville needs to compete. Here's another business that's totally dilapidated. Ronnie Saab, this is your hometown. This is your hometown. You ought to be ashamed of yourself there is no economic opportunity in Greeleyville, South Carolina. I dare say there's no economic opportunity in Williamsburg County. Um, if I'm elected, I'm not going to wage a, wave a magic wand like President Obama said when he said that manufacturing jobs are gone from America forever. And he said, what are we going to do, wave a magic wand? No, we're not going to wave a magic wand, uh, President Obama and Ronnie Saab. We're going to roll up our sleeves, we're going to put our hard hat on, and we're going to get people educated and we're going to get people trained because education and training are the key to bringing jobs back education and training are the key and the, how are we going to educate through competition through educational freedom we're going to give parents the opportunity to send their children to the school of their choice not Ronnie Saab's choice Ronnie Saab wants kids to go to failing schools I want kids to go to schools that thrive. I want the, uh, the supply and demand. Economics 101 is when you have money in the in the free market economy and parents decide or grandparents decide, guardians decide, guess what's going to happen? Good things will happen. And kids will be educated. 
And guess what? God will get God will come back into schools. Right now, the secular humanist atheist school system does not let teachers pray in class, does not let teachers have a devotion in class, does not let a teacher, a Christian teacher, talk about her experience with God. Why not? Why shouldn't a teacher in America be allowed to say that God is good? And why shouldn't a student be able to say God is good all the time? Let me say that again. God is good. And God is good all the time. Regardless of what Ronnie Sab says, God needs to be back in the school. I challenge Ronnie Sab to a debate publicly. He said no. He does not want to debate me. He does not want to participate in the League of Women Voters Berkeley County Chamber of Commerce Forum. He, he didn't even respond to their invitation, according to them. So let me say this. Be, let me be very clear as we walk across the railroad track in this ghost town, Ronnie Sab's hometown, where crime is spiking. Crime is spiking all throughout District 32. And the reason why crime is spiking is because Ronnie Sab has turned a blind eye. He's turned a complete blind eye to lawlessness. Ronnie Sab has turned a blind eye to lawlessness. He says he supports the Black Lives Matter movement. Well, guess what? I support the Jesus movement. I support the freedom movement. I support the movement that says we're all created in God's image, that there's only one race. It's called the human race. Ronnie Sad doesn't believe there's only one race. He believes there's multiple races. That's anti-science. It's certainly anti-God. I learned in my 23 years on active duty that we all bleed the same color red. I served in the uh, Air Force on active duty, and I retired five years ago in 2015. And what I learned is when people are in hostile environments, the last thing you want to do is let your brother down, let your airman down, let your soldier down, let your battle buddy down, regardless of skin color. Ronnie said, let me say this, stop making everything about skin color. Stop turning Americans and South Carolinians against each other. We, came, we might have come over on different boats, but we're all in the same boat now, according to Martin Luther King. And let me say this, Ronnie Sab, stop judging people by the color of their skin. Judge people by the content of their character. I judge you on the content of your character, not the color of your skin. And your character is wanting. You believe in killing babies. You took $1,000 from Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood is responsible for murdering. Yes, I said it. Planned Parenthood is responsible for murdering millions and millions of African-American babies. Why would you take a dime, Ronnie Sab? Why would you take a dime from Planned Parenthood? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Look up Margaret Sanger and what she thought of the African-American community, the founder of Planned Parenthood. She was a racist, bigot, eugenicist. So let me close on this. We can get jobs back in Greeleyville if we fix our education system, if we have educational freedom. Let the money follow the child, not Ronnie Sab's cronies. We can get... Um, God back in schools if we let parents decide where they want to send their kids. What's wrong? It's the parents' money for crying out loud. Let the parents send their child to a church school if they want to. And by the way, if a, a parent is um, secular, atheist, let the parents send their child to an atheist school. I doubt there will be too many atheist schools popping up. But the point is, let the free market supply and demand, the market of good ideas, take over. And you'll see education improve. I believe that we need to remember our national motto, which is what? In God we trust. Let's get back to that. What South Carolina's, one of South Carolina's motto is, while I breathe, I hope. Such a great motto. Be prepared in mind and resources. That's the other one. We need to be prepared in mind and resources in South Carolina, especially here in Greeleyville, and turn this ghost town into a thriving community again. This town was founded in the 1800s. We can do something. We can bring industry back here. But it's going to take leadership. It's going to take commitment. It's going to take education. So before I go, let me remind folks, go out and vote.